I have personally seen brands waste hundreds of thousands of pounds in advertising spend over the last five years because their conversion tracking isn't set up correctly. I can't tell you how many accounts that we audit and once we've audited the account we realize the main problem that they've got is that they're not tracking conversions accurately and they're not tracking conversions correctly. So they're either missing conversions or double counting conversions, whatever it might be, conversion tracking is the single most important thing that you need to get right. You need to get conversion tracking right and so in today's video we're going to break down how to to set up conversion tracking for Shopify brands. It's very easy, there's no code required and it should take you less than five minutes. If you don't know me already, my name is Will and over the last five years, we've done over 80 million on behalf of clients through search, shopping and performance max campaigns, helping them to increase their revenue, increase their ROAS and ultimately get better performance out of their Google Ads. We work with businesses all over the world, brands like Besame Cosmetics, Florence London Jewelry, Jags and Bones and plenty more direct to consumer brands. So if you are an e-commerce brand that you know, you're spending 4K a month plus on Google Ads, but you're not quite happy with the performance, it could be revenue, it could be ROAS, you know you could get better performance out of the ads we would love to do you a completely free google ads audit essentially breaking down all the problems with your account how to improve them and that will be fed back to you in a pdf once we had a quick conversation together so if you're interested in claiming that and you're spending above 4k a month right now go ahead and hit that first link in the description where you can book some time with me claim that free audit and we will break down everything that's wrong with your account okay let's get back to the video so when i say track conversions what i mean is is the ability to be able to track your attributed actions that have happened as a result of your ads. So it could be things like add to carts, people adding product to the basket, initiate checkout, people initiating the checkout process on your website and tracking conversions. So tracking sales, which is a primary one that we would track for Shopify businesses that are looking to run Google ads. By doing this and by tracking conversions accurately and setting up conversion tracking, you'll be able to see how many sales you've generated. Not only that, but where those sales have come from, the total amount of revenue that's been driven on behalf of the Google ads, and then ultimately the ROAS, so the return on the advertising spend. So how much am I getting back for every $1 or £1 that I'm spending on ads? So for example, in one of our campaigns, we spent 80800 to generate over 295000 in revenue at an above 3.5x ROAS. Without this, we don't have any visibility. Without conversion tracking, we don't have any visibility on any of these metrics. So we can't see where our revenue is coming from, where our performance is coming from, what campaign it's coming from from and so doing conversion tracking setting it up correctly gives you visibility on all of this and makes optimizing your campaigns a whole lot easier essentially this will also feed into google's algorithm as well so if it knows where sales are coming from it will begin to push specific products more heavily specific campaigns will get more distribution so it improves the performance of your google ads as well running google ads without conversion tracking is essentially a complete waste of time and like flushing your money down the toilet so definitely don't do it make sure conversion tracking is set up before you run google ads you need to know what to optimize and you need to be able to optimize quickly and know that the data that you've got is accurate okay so now we know all of this let's get this set up for you so for this to work it's worth mentioning that you're going to need admin access to both your google ads account and your shopify account so if you don't have those go ahead and get access to both of those get admin access to both of those and then we can start this process However, assuming that you do have access, we can begin and you can see here that I'm on Shopify. So I've made a dummy account for the purpose of today's video. We're going to click the search bar at the top here and we're going to type in the app store, Google and a YouTube app. Now it's worth mentioning, this is actually an app that was built by Google. So you know the tracking is going to be legit. You know the tracking is going to be robust and it's a genuine app by Google. You can see it's got you know, just shy of 4,000 reviews there and a 4.5 star. We're going to click install on this. So what this is going to do is install it to our Shopify. I need to just finish some setup here. This app needs access to, you know, personal data, etc., etc. So you just need to give it the access it requires and press install and then it will take you to this page here yours will probably just say connect google account however because i've already reconnected and then disconnected for the purpose of this video it says reconnect so i'm going to click this button here and then we're going to connect now this is, is very important make sure that you're clicking and choosing the google gmail associated with your google ads account very important otherwise it won't work so i'm going to click the account here you might need to fill out your password and then it's connected right so you can see here the good thing about this this app actually just zoom in ever so slightly for you a little bit more. 
is that you don't just have access to your Google Ads, you can also see Google Analytics in here. So you can set up Google Analytics and connect that up and your Merchant Center as well. So this is like a central hub for everything Google, which is great. Now, we want Google tracking. So we want conversion measurements. So we're going to click this button here. It says you can set up Google Ads conversion me measurements without connecting a Merchant Center account. That's what we want. I'm going to click get started here. And we've already connected our Gmail. Now the Gmail, as I mentioned, this is a step where if your Gmail wasn't associated with your Google Ads account, you wouldn't see your Google Ads account here. And you'd have to go back and then re-sign in through the correct account. So if you do do that, you can just press disconnect here. But We've got the correct account loaded here and we're just going to you pro should probably only see one of these these are just the google ads ids they're usually a 10 digit number we've got a bunch in here because this is just a test dummy account that we've used for years right so we're going to click on this one here this is the google ads account that we want to link um, you will be able to i've actually got another video which i'll link in the description which will show you how to find your google ads id so if you're struggling to find your google ads id you can go back to that resource there now, so once we are here, we're then just going to click connect, right? And then we're going to look at the conversion objectives that we've got here. So this says, you know, com confirm conversion event settings, helps optimize performance of your paid ads, free listings, and provides insights into the most impactful ads, listings, and keywords. It's got all the events here. So yeah, these are all just standard events. We're just going to click confirm on these. Great. And then it says confirm Google tags. Google tags are installed for each relevant service you connect to Google and YouTube. We're just going to click confirm here. And then we're going to click complete setup. Perfect. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come to our Google Ads account. We're going to come to the account associated with that, which is our Touchpoint account. I'm going to click on that. And then once in here, we're going to go to goals and conversions and summary and we should see all of our connected goals that we have just imported from our Shopify using the Google and YouTube app. Amazing. So I've installed them twice, so they're double installed. So don't worry too much. You should only see one of these. However, these are the conversion tracking goals installed and added to your Google Ads account from Shopify using the Google and YouTube app, which is amazing. Now, the one thing to mention is that you're an e-commerce business and you're looking to get sales, right? Your main objective is to get purchases for your e-commerce store. So when you're looking at the conversion actions here and the uh, essentially like your action optimization, so your action optimization in indicates how conversion actions are used towards your conversion goal. So one thing we need to mention here is that there is a difference between primary conversion actions and secondary conversion actions. So primary conversion actions are used to optimize your bid strategy when their corresponding conversion goal is selected for a campaign that also reported on in the conversions column. What that means is, is that primary conversion actions are the goal that Google uses when making optimizations towards your ads. It's the goal that Google uses for your campaigns, right? The secondary conversion actions are used solely for observations, so they're not used to make changes and algorithmic changes to your ads. A secondary conversion goal we would use as, um, so we would all, all set up like add to carts and initiate checkouts. Um, they would all be secondary conversion goals. Your primary conversion goal as an e-commerce business should always be the purchase. So what you need to do is if you've got any, um, any of these pulling through as primary, you can just click here and change another goal. Oh, sorry, you can click edit goal and then change to from primary to secondary if that is set as a primary and vice versa if you find like purchase is just set as a secondary goal it won't be but if you did you can set it as a primary goal here so you can just change the goal settings here now another thing to mention is that if you click in here there's a bunch of information that you can see so you can see the action optimization you can see the value you just want to keep these the same sources the website count every conversion the conversion window here looks great you know, if you're a little bit more advanced, you might change this up. But for now, that's absolutely fine. No problems at all. And so essentially, that is your conversion tracking set up in a nutshell. That is how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for Shopify stores. Super easy. 
really shouldn't be complicated at all. It doesn't require you to use anything like Tag Manager to set it up. You don't have to manually set up these goals or insert any code onto your website. Shopify makes this process really easy with just a click of a couple of buttons on your Shopify dashboard by connecting the Google and YouTube app. So that's all for today's video. I hope you found some value. If you have, consider giving us a like and subscribing to my channel. We're posting every week at the moment and we're on our way to our first 50 subscribers if we haven't already hit it yet. So I do just wanna give a special thank you to to our current subscribers. Thank you for subscribing so early in our journey. And if you are an e-commerce brand and you're spending above 4K a month on ads right now, on Google ads right now, whether it be search, shopping, performance max, any of that, and you would be interested in a completely free Google ads audit, as I say, eight to 10 pages long, packed with pure value, then there will be a link in the description. But aside from that, I'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely rest of your day.